if you really knew me, you would know that I'm one of nine kids. And while I grew up in a house that was loud and chaotic and full of people, that I know what it's like to be so lonely and alone that you wonder if anybody will even notice if you leave. If you really knew me, you would know that I grew up singing and playing instruments, but was consistently told, you won't ever be great at it. You don't have the voice to be a star. You have an okay voice. And I carried that internal dialogue into every single audition, every performance, and even my ability to dream and desire big things. Because if I wasn't special, how could I do something big? If you really knew me, then you'd know that I started dieting at 15 when I put on 25 pounds after moving across the country and being put into public school for the first time in my life. I would continue to struggle with my weight, capping it off at a size 16 in college. I lived in terror of never being able to get it under control. If you really knew me, You'd know that at age 13, I was inappropriately touched by someone very close to me, and the shame that carried has accompanied me into adulthood, where it has manifested itself in shutting down my body to pleasure in the bedroom. If you really knew me, you'd know I grew up hearing that others could, but I couldn't. Others could have a big life, but I couldn't. Others could have a career or nice things or be rich, but I couldn't because as a godly Christian woman, I shouldn't want those things or have those things. It's been a narrative that's held me back in life and business because if others can, but I can't, what can I even ask for? I wanted to share this podcast with you guys today. Because I heard Alison Bird complete some of these sentences. She's the one that taught me this. I first heard her doing it of, if you really knew me, then you'd know. And you fill in the blank. And it was so powerful and moving for me when I heard her do that. And I think we can tend to hide out when it comes to our social media, when it comes to our business, when it comes to being relatable when it comes to showing people that we are like them and vulnerability and authenticity right now is what people need the most when it comes to social media, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to your business. And so I want you guys to fill in that sentence. If you really knew me, then you'd know. And I want you to take that and journal on it and see what comes up for you and figure out where you've been hiding in your life, where you haven't been letting people in, where you haven't been showing parts of you that you could talk about. I'm not saying we have to take all of this and make social media posts about all of it. No, I probably won't, but I get to share it here with you guys and to show you parts of me that you will resonate with. And also parts of me that will make you go, holy crap, if she can do this, I can do it too, right? We have to remind people of where we've come from so they don't just see where we're at. So many people see where we're at today and they get discouraged and they think they can't do it. Or they see where we're at today and they miss our message because they don't see us as being human or relatable to them. And we always need to be reminding people that we are like them and that if we can do it, they can do it too. I don't care what you're selling people. Your message is still, if I can do it, you can do it too. And that's what today's podcast episode was about. And that's what I want you guys to go do in your life. Take that sentence. If you really knew me, you'd know and see what comes out for you. Maybe it'll spark some awesome conversation for you and your husband Maybe it'll spark some really good conversation for you and some friends. Maybe it will be part of your story that you decide you want to let out onto social media. Whatever it is for you, I hope that it helps you to see how far you've come. I really want you guys to take a minute to look back and see, dang, I have overcome some stuff. 
I am like, I'm a completely different person today. I am. I can look back at all those stories and think, dang, look at what I've done. That is amazing, right? We can take a minute to give ourselves some credit, to give ourselves some love. It can also help us identify some of those passengers on our bus. Like I talked about before versions of you that have gone through things that you haven't identified yet. You haven't had a conversation with them. You haven't given them the healing that they need. And I would invite you to have a conversation with them. When you realize these versions of you be like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know that was going to come up for me. Say hi to that passenger, ask them what they need to hear. You'll know what you need to tell them. Have that conversation. And then decide how you can show up in a way in your business, on social media, where you get to let people see how far you've come and you get to let people see that you are relatable. Take this if you want to and start a social media post with it. If you really knew me, you'd know and see how many people can resonate. How many people can say, oh my gosh, me too, because that's what we're all dying for right now, right? People want to me too. They don't want to be alone. They want to know that other people have gone through what they've gone through. When we bring shameful things to the light, that is when healing gets to happen. And right now, this can be your opportunity to bring things to the light that you've never allowed yourself to fully address. So I hope this helps you guys today. Go get real with yourself. Get real with a spouse, a close friend, someone you can talk to. And tag me and let me know, or send me a message on Instagram. I would love to hear your, if you really knew me, then you'd know statement. I would love to encourage you and tell you how proud I am of you for getting vulnerable with yourself. Everybody go have a beautiful day. Thanks for listening in. 